Hey, you know, uh, something else gets celebrated in these parts, you know, for uh, July 4th as well. What's that? My birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody. Tonight we've got a special episode. Tonight it is the classy red, white, and blue neck. Oh man! It's this is our Fourth of July special. We are uh, going to be pairing tonight. We've got a uh, California red, the uh, the Snoop Dogg version. Never had it. Looking forward yep, to trying it. Yeah, I've heard it's there. It's good. I'm definitely going to try it out. So I got because when I think of Snoop Dogg, I yeah. think of red wine. Well, absolutely for sure. Yeah, not no other products. And then we went to the other coast with uh, Virginia. We got a Williamsburg, Virginia, Viognier. And then we've got a West Virginia homemade blueberry wine. That's right. Some more of the, uh, the, some dad, more of the wine. dad wine. So it's yeah. me, the classy red, white, and blue neck. <laughs> and West Virginia. <laughs> so, and tonight, the uh, the food we'll be pairing this with is good old American hot dogs. There's nothing more American than hot dogs. We Absolutely. Got apple pie, too. No. No, nope, keeping pie. it simple. Three mm -hmm. wines. Three wines. One dog. Yeah, that's that's. Uh, that's we do have good. a little bit of variation in the dogs. So we've got the standard mustard, ketchup, onions, and relish, and then we've got another special, a uh, homemade relish, brought here with uh, brought here by West Virginia. Seems like it's a cabbage kind of thing. Almost yeah. resembles a chow chow. Yeah, so chow chow, I guess. For, yeah. yeah, any. Uh, more southern style rednecks out there. They're probably familiar with the chow chow. Are right, we doing rednecks? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Snoopy dog. So some oak on the nose. Um, I, I think. I'm gonna move this because I feel like I'm smelling like mustard. Yeah. I think it's taking me to blackberry picking. Blackberry, okay. I was thinking a little plummy. It definitely uh, reminded me of a very specific smell that I've experienced, and I think it's picking blackberries, like because you you know you're not just you're, you're smelling the fruit, but you're smelling the leaves and, and the the vines and everything. You know. Okay, so it gives you a little earthiness. Yeah, a little earthy, a little uh, a little herbaceous. Or green, maybe like kind of a like yeah, like, like a, a forest, yeah, like, kind like of a green, green yeah. herbaceousness. Yeah, yeah, you know, forest note kind of stuff. I mean, I remember going out to the pasture with my grandma and picking blackberries. Mm -hmm. It tastes completely different than I expected from the nose. My my gut reaction is cotton candy. <laughs> yeah, not that bad. Not like that blue stuff. <laughs> right. But yeah, not that. But yeah, like it's like a, a less sweet cotton candy flavor. That's really weird. Yeah, that's wild. It's like, um, I can't even, it's it's hard to describe. It's, um, yeah, it's like, it's, it doesn't taste sweet, but it also tastes sweet. Yeah. At the same time. It's, it's, it's got some sweetness to it. It's Morning. like, you get the, the oak, like at very first you get the oak and like everything, you know, the tannins and everything you would expect from, you know, a, a bigger, you know, medium to, to bigger red. It does finish like candy. But then... It's like cotton candy flavor. Yeah, that's a good way but to put then it. But it finishes like candy, yeah. I was going to say kind of the opposite. The oak comes back in the end for me. I think a little cooler a would really be it. the move for a little, this. A put a chill, chill on it. Good I thought about doing that. Slap that out the bottle of so. the fridge. We'll check it out later. <laughs> Heck yeah. I kind of tobacco finish on it. Tobacco? Mm. Well, we're all sort of experiencing different stuff here. Yeah. I mean, it... it to me, it reminds me of like a lot of the the flavor profiles are you know like you know kind of tobacco and oak yeah, and, yeah, mm, yeah, like yeah, a darker, yeah. more tanniny, like you know bolder red. But but those those flavors aren't like I mean they're present, but they're not like you know they're not slapping you in the it's, face. It's like, the, it's like an oaky red and dissolve some cotton candy in it. <laughs> It's not too it's, much sugar, though. No, no it's, it's really good. interesting. Good. And yeah, I think. I, I, and they're right. It's very com it's comp a complex compilation or whatever they said. I would I would buy this again. Yeah, this is good. absolutely. Yeah, this is it's great. Really interesting. And it was, I mean, every wine we bought was 
what, fifteen dollars roughly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like so, I've seen those for you know fifteen, seventeen this bucks so yeah. on chocolate. shelves, both at like grocery stores and at the wine shops. This oh. and chili chocolate. Ooh, chili chocolate, yeah. Could right. be the move. Mm. All right, now. That's the real test. The real test. <laughs> uh, after a bite of the hot dog, I can't smell the wine at all. <laughs> Maybe a little. Just some of that uh, herbaceousness. Herbaceousness. That's what Snoop wanted out of this. <laughs> With that weird cotton candy-esque sweet flavor that this wine has, I was not expecting it to work with a hot dog, but it kind of does. Yeah. Because you've yeah, also got the oak and you've got the tannin and everything. Yeah. Like, that's what's really wild. I think it's I think so. Pairing. I'm going to yeah. go with the chow chow one next, though. Yep. That wine stands up to the all the flavors going on. Good backyard barbecue wine. Yeah, nice. you know, this I this would probably be, you know, chicken. excellent. Yeah, I mean, it's it's readily available anywhere. You know, if if folks are watching this now and they're like, ah, we need a little bit of a little bit of wine for our Fourth of July party. You know, we, we got the white, we forgot the red. Like the the 19 Crimes uh, Cali Red might be a good move. Um, it, it works with hot dogs. Uh, I can only assume that it's going to work equally well with burgers. You know, wow. Yeah, and it was it was good with uh, you know the two different dogs as well. I think I preferred it actually with the uh, the pickle relish and, and ketchup. Yeah, I think the I think the, the chow chow. I think the pickle relish accentuated the uh, sweetness of it of the wine, yeah. and then I think the sweetness of the chow chow the, kind of muted the sweetness. The, so they're, they're like the same sweetness level, so you don't you don't get that. Yeah, so you taste you know, the kind of a burst of flavor. Yeah, so you taste the other part of that red wine, and it's. But it's still delicious. It's still yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 good, but yeah, like it's <laughs> like it's mind boggling. Like I, I never expected that to work as well as it did. Yeah, but I mean, it, I think with that sweetness, but also that complexity, I feel like this could pair with a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. Yeah, I think you throw anything on the grill, and this is going to work with it. Absolutely. Yeah, just don't serve it at room temperature. Chill it down a little bit. Yeah. On to the white wine. Happy Vir Fourth, man. Virginia Viognier from Williamsburg. Nice nose, a little, little perfumey, kind of that honeysuckle type thing. Yeah, I was thinking like floral. It's pretty light floral. though, I thought. Yeah, I mean, it's not overwhelming. It smells great. Yeah. I don't know if I'm getting any specific flowers in the nose. You know, maybe just like wildflower kind of grape blossom, perhaps? A grape blossom? Mm. I don't know if I've smelled a lot of grape blossom. Oh, it, it smells a little grapey and a little floral. <laughs> I don't think grapes have blossoms. Yeah, I mean, I used to have some vines in the backyard in New York, and I don't remember seeing a lot of blossoms. How do they pollinate? Mm. They don't, because they grow on vines. Mm. Mm. Silence. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of flavor. Like, it's light. But it seems to pack a little more flavor than most of the like lighter, lighter wines I'm used to. Like, yeah, you know, I was I was expecting to get some, you know, minerality. Um, you know, maybe I, I'm not sure if this ever saw oak or if it's just uh, stainless steel the whole time or what. But there's like no oak to it. It's not really minerally. You know, it's it's got some of that floral, fruity, uh, some tartness to it. Yeah, it's got some good um, tartness. Kind of a kind of a sweet tart aftertaste, you know, the finish. It says it's five months and a hundred percent stainless steel. So um, Yeah, so no oak. I was gonna say yeah. if it, if it yeah. saw oak at all, it was just for like a day. Yeah, it's really got that clean, clean feel to it. So it, the tasting notes are tropical fruit and peaches as well as a note of minerality. But you said you didn't really get that minerality. Yeah, not really getting I didn't minerality. Either. I, I, I could, I could I see it. tropical fruit. I think that's what the sweet tart is. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's not what I expected. It's good. Yeah, I mean, it's um, fruity. I don't, 
I'm not really picking up like tropical or peach or anything specific. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a, a general like, yeah. light fruit sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, do we eat? Hell yeah, yeah, onto the wieners. All right. I got the Hebrew National Quarter Pound hot dogs. Oh, look at, man. Look at these like, things. Drop the top mm. anyway. and, uh, They're like bun length and like way bigger nice than Nice and fat. I like it. And we both picked the, uh, you know, the because the chow chow is kind of sweet. I was thinking I might not try that one uh, with the white. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued by that. Like, I mean, we talked about how we didn't notice minerality, but... I feel like once I took a bite of the hot dog, I don't know if it's like the maybe the vinegar and the toppings or something. But oh well, yeah, you know, I think it the, seemed like the the minerality was like noticeably gone. Mm. So I didn't really notice much minerality, but then taking a sip after eating the hot dog, it's like oh, oh there, yeah, it there was, was there, <laughs> but now it's completely it's gone like now. gone. Did you get the same effect? Yeah, it um, it definitely changes the the flavor of the wine um you know you got some strong flavors with the you know especially the mustard and onions going on there mm -hmm. um maybe not the best pairing yeah i think i think a lot of the flavors are kind of cut too you know like you know like i said the minerality's gone i don't think there's as much fruitiness as well yeah the stronger flavors here are Definitely overwhelming, overwhelming the, it, yeah. the fruity deliciousness. Now I'm going to go from wine to hot dog. Let's see if there's anything different here. I didn't notice much. Like it, you know, there there wasn't anything off putting when I went back and forth when I took my bites. Yeah, basically, just this this wine doesn't stand up to the yeah all the flavors going on in a good old American hot dog. Yeah, yeah, with all the toppings and stuff, I think we've just overwhelmed this lighter, mm -hmm. lighter wine. All right. all right, Blueberry Bliss. Blueberry Bliss. You like what you smell there? I like what I smell mm. and taste. I'm going to say, you can't buy dad wine in the store. I'm yeah. so sorry for the viewers at home because <laughs> you're missing out. This is the best. But you can make wine at home, mm -hmm. just, like, yeah. just like my dad. Uh, this is the Orchard Breezen wine kit. Uh, it's called Blueberry Bliss. Yeah, you can smell the, it smells like it, there's like a sweetness on the nose and blueberry. I mean, yeah, it just smells like it smells like a glass of blueberry juice. Yeah, the sweetness isn't as uh, prominent. Yeah, it's tart. It's, yeah, it's not that sweet, and it's, it's got a, yeah, it's got some tartness balancing the sweetness, you know, across the palate, and then it's got a little bit of dryness in the finish. <laughs> well, we ready to yes. dig in? Know which direction I want to go. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get all crazy here because I've got I got the very last of my my Pucker Butt Pepper Company Smoking Eds Picnic Sauce, and we've had this on wings before. You know, it's it's a thin thin bodied fruit wine, but the flavors actually complement a hot dog pretty well. Yeah, I think I think it stands up pretty well too. I think it. Yeah, to me, it reminds me of the the Cali Red. There's like a, like it's not overly sweet, but there's like that blueberry fruity sweetness to it. And, you know, all of those flavors still stand up to the, you know, the smoky and the vineyard. Right, and the, the little bit of tartness that this has, you know, almost kind of a throwback to the, to the Viognier, the Williamsburg yeah. Viognier. But here you've got you know, a little bit of, uh, a, a little bit of beefiness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got more fruitiness, I guess, than the B and A, but. Um, it stands up to the, the onions and the mustard a little better than the B and A did. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like a, like the best of both. Yeah. Both lines. Yeah, pretty well. I, I mean, I've got two other incarnations to try here, but first taste, I, right now for me, the 19 Crimes is still the perfect hot dog wine. That was definitely it. But Great let's wine. see how the blueberry goes with the uh, chow chow dog. I'm getting distinct cabbage flavor from the chow chow. Yeah. That's the first time that I've tasted the, the cabbagey 
ness of Chow Chow. I like that, and I'm going back right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you like it with the chow chow? Every now and then, our paths diverge. You know, oh, a, lot yeah. of, a lot of times our, our palettes are you know, almost directly in line. For me, whatever flavor compounds are going on here, the blueberry is bringing out the cabbage flavor in the chow chow, and it's not making for a pleasant experience. I liked it a lot better with the, the basic Oh yeah? Do you not like cabbage? No, I mean I like cabbage. Just it's it's not working in this particular scenario for me. Okay, yeah, I don't I don't know if even I can explain it because it almost like I think it kind of takes away some of the tartness of the wine. Mm. But like taking a bite of the chow chow hot dog and then going to the wine, it just it was a lot smoother. Hmm. Like, I think it really just smoothed out the line for some reason. Okay. Which is, like, I kind of expected it to cut that, you know, sweetness that it had, but it really didn't. It seemed to cut the tartness, and it, like, I thought it just really, Okay, so it's just really cutting the tartness for you. Yeah. 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 All right, so I got a chow chow smoking heads, which basically will probably be like a hot chow chow. Ooh. That's nice. The picnic sauce, you know, it's, it's you know just got a little kick to it. The I feel like the the, the balance of, of sweet and tart going on in this in this uh, blueberry bliss is just the right thing to kind of extinguish that heat a little bit. Yeah, you know, I think you, you you extinguish that heat, but I feel like it kind of takes away from the wine. I agree with you. It's it's overwhelming. It's too much when you've also got the chow chow going on. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Happy 4th of July. And I want to give a big shout out to the birthday boy, West Virginia. Have a great birthday on the 4th as well. Everybody, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, ring the bell for notifications. Ding, ding, ding. Follow us. And don't forget to check out my channel too, West Virginia. Happy 4th of July. Happy birthday, America. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Making it for to living 48. this long. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that does work.